Cron expressions are one of the most common ways, maybe the most common way to run services, jobs and scripts in a periodic manner or by some specific date. By leveraging this capability to the cloud, it can allow us to create really powerful services and applications. Hello everyone, this is Marco speaking. Today you will learn how to execute cron jobs on AWS for triggering different services and applications. For doing this, we're going to use a service called EventBridge. What is EventBridge? EventBridge is a service provided by AWS completely serverless for triggering another services and applications based on events. So this can allow us to create event-driven applications that can scale on the cloud. But even bridge also allow us to create events based on cron jobs. So we can create a cron job and trigger something based on that cron job. So what we're going to do, we're going to have two different cron expressions. The first cron, cron expression will be executed at one specific moment, which will trigger an event to SNS and SNS will send an email to a specific email. And the second event is going to be triggered every minute and which will evoke a lambda function and the lambda function will send a message to kinesis data streams and kinesis data streams is going to send a message to kinesis data firehose and firehose is going to send a message to nestor bucket so this is going to demonstrate to us that we can run different services using cron expressions by using aws even bridge so let's do this but before we proceed if you like this kind of content just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about AWS ecosystem. And don't forget about it. The more you learn, the better you become, and more value you can provide. So let's do this. Okay, great. So for the first flow, we need to create an SNS topic, which, which is able to send an email. So this is our SNS topic, but there is no email subscribed to it. For subscribe and email, what am I going to do? I'm going to use a service called 10minuteemail.com, which provides to us a temporary email for 10 minutes. So this is going to be my email for 10 minutes. I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to go back to the SNS and then I'm going to create a subscription. The protocol is going to be email and this is going to be the email. And then I create a subscription. Perfect. Let's go back to the email to get the email for subscription, which is this one. So I'm going to click here to confirm the subscription. Perfect. If we go back to SNS, we can see that the email was confirmed and correctly subscribed. Now that we have the SNS topic and the email subscribed to it, let's go to event bridge to create the first event. Event bridge. For creating cron jobs on EventBridge, we have to select this option here, EventBridge Schedule. Let's create a new schedule. I'm going to call this Event for SNS. I'm going to use the default group. For the schedule pattern for one-time events, we can define one-time schedule or recurrent schedule. For the recurrent schedule, you can see that the cron options here. So we can put your cron expression here. But since this is a one-time schedule, I'm going to select the first one. And I'm going to say that this is going to be today in a few minutes. Now it's 9.26. So I'm going to say that this is going to be 9.30 in my current time zone with no flexibility. Let's click on next. This is going to trigger an SNS topic. So I'm going to click here. And this is, this is our topic. For the payload, I'm going to pass simple object which is going to be message I'm gonna say this is one time message from even bridge perfect let's keep going I'm gonna I'm gonna click on next I'm not gonna use retry policies here and no encryption in my case and then let's let's click on next you can review it if you prefer and then let's create the schedule Perfect. In a few minutes, we're going to see the message arriving into this email here. Okay, great. After a few minutes, let's let's go back to the email. 
And you can see that the message sent by Evenbridge is here. Message, one time message from Evenbridge, which show us that we can schedule actions on Evenbridge and send email using Evenbridge or maybe calling some another service from AWS. Perfect, let's keep going. Okay, great, now let's go to the second event, which is the one that we defined here. So this was the first flow, now let's define the second flow, which is going to trigger a Lambda function every minute. Let's go back to Evenbridge, uh, Evenbridge, Schedules, let's create a new schedule. This is going to be the event for Lambda. I'm going to use the default group, but in this case, I'm going to use a recurring schedule. And you can define a, a Chrome based schedule, but in this case, I'm going to select the rate based schedule. So this is going to be called every minute. No, with no flexibility. And let's click on next. In this case, we're going to invoke a Lambda function. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to select the Lambda function. And then I'm going to define a payload, which is going to be message, a message from Evenbridge. Perfect. Let's keep going. Click on next. With no retry policy, since this is a testing project. And let's click on next. We can see that the, the this event will be called every minute with this payload. Let's create the schedule. Okay, perfect. Now that the event was successfully created, if you remember well, you will you will see that this event will be triggered every minute, which is going to send a message to a lambda function, which is going to send a message to Kinesis data streams, which is going to send a message to Kinesis Data for Holes, which is going to inject the data into an S3 bucket. So in a few minutes, we should see this bucket correctly populated. Okay, great. After a few minutes, let's refresh the bucket to see if there's something in here. Perfect. So this is the object sent by Kinesis Data for Holes into this bucket. Let's download the object to see what's inside. So this is the object sent by Kinesis. And you can see that this is basically the payload that we define into Evenbridge repeated many times. And that's it. Now you know how to use Evenbridge to run recurring jobs or jobs in a rate-based schedule using Evenbridge on the cloud. <laughs> if you like this kind of content, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I hope you liked it and I see you in the next time.